Good morning. This is Anne. This is a pre-recorded video. Right now, let me perform a live demo for you. This is a demo procedure. We will show you the utility. Explain the function tab. Demo the SCB 111-485 with the Mosquito server, and show the no read on the PC. Then we will use MQTT subscribe to change the cloud server to Sense Master and show the dashboard. This is our demo tester architecture. We have connected four sensors and an alarm lamp, the ES104 sensor to detect temperature, humidity, PM2.5 and PM10, ES101-WS and ES101-WD for detecting wind speed and uh, direction. ES101-CO2 can detect uh, carbon dioxide. So now let's start with the utility. First, insert a USB to connect the device to the computer. After powering up the device, Open the device manager to view the COM port. Select the correct COM port on the utility. Connect the utility and enter the initial username and password admin. After successfully logging in the utility, click Tools and click Settings to view the firmware and the SN of the device. This device used in the current demonstration is a simple, so SN is black. After cleaning the small arrow, you can modify the username and password. After changing it, click Apply, and will pop up a warning box. Click Yes and the modification will be successful. After disconnecting, log in again with the new password. Below is a brief configuration introduction in the utility. This page allows you to configure several parameters. After setting all the parameters, click Apply to save it. When the button turns white and ends, the operation is completed. Click Reload to display the current parameter settings in the device. This page is used for cellular settings, where users can choose the setting mode to configure the parameters of the base station connection. The difference between O2 set and menu set is that selecting menu set can configure PLMN. While selecting, while selecting O2 site does not require setting PLMN. After the cellular configuration is completed, click Connect Test to establish a connection to the base station. After the button turns white and ends, click Refresh to view the successful connection information. It contains the provider IMEI of the device, IP, PLMN, frequency band, and the cellular connection status. This page is used for cloud server settings. After completing the parameter configuration, click on Server Connector Test. The system will start connecting to the MQTT server and display the connection test results in the status position. The current display of MQTT successful indicates a successful connection. This page is used for TCP server settings, and the device supports TCP client for serial data transparent transmission. 
if the system is configured with both MQTT and TCP. SCP-111-485 will first execute MQTT mode. Therefore, if the device needs to operate in TCP transparent mode, the MQTT configuration should be erased and an empty configuration applied before configuring TCP. On this page, you can set the authentication method for the protocol tab. Protocol tab can select MQTT, HTTP, and TCP. Authentication method can select no validate certificate. Select validate certificate. You need upload server CA certificate and select mature authentication need upload server CA certificate, client certificate, and client private key. This page is used for setting device RTU parameters and can also testing control relay. After configuring the RTU parameters on the left side of the page, click Add to complete the write. Then click Reload to check if the parameters were successfully written. Next, click Pull Test to pull the registered address. If the pooling is successful, the REC state will display OK, and if the pooling fails, T out will be displayed. It means time out. At this time, it's necessary to check whether the RTU parameters are written correctly. The following is a demonstration of relay control. After cleaning on or off, the relay will take corresponding actions, and the utility will actively read the current relay status and display it in the box. This page allows you to download system logs, erase historical logs, upload and download device configuration information. If the user needs to write too many parameters or multiple devices need to be set according to the same parameters, they can click the Upload Configuration file which is placed in the configuration file under the utility directory. The document contains RTU, IoT, MQTT, serial, and TCP parameters. After modifying and saving the parameters, Click Upload config file to upload the configuration document. After uploading, click on other pages to see if the configuration has been changed. Next, we will demonstrate remote monitoring of environmental sensors. After disconnecting the USB, the device will automatically restart and connect the base station to the MQTT server. Open the pre-configured node-read interface and set a threshold of 3 for one speed. If the win speed exceeds the threshold, the alarm lamp will light up. If the win speed is below the threshold, the alarm lamp will turn off. Open the no-read UI interface 
to clearly see the current correct data. Add a fan next to the wind speed sensor and wait for the next data upload. It can be seen that the current wind speed is 4.5, which has exceeded the set threshold of 3. After a period of time, the alarm lamp will light up. Next, reduce the wind speed and wait for the next data upload. The current wind speed has dropped to 0.7. Below the set threshold, wait for a period of time the alarm lamp to turn off. Next, we will demonstrate sending commands from the MQTT client to change device RGU and MQTT parameters. After the MQTT client successfully connects to the server, send command to download the RTU config file. And after the download is completed, you will receive a success message. Then, its instructions can be used to check whether the parameter change was successful. It can be seen that there is a CO2 parameter in the current device. But the previously configured utility did not have this parameter, indicating that the file has been successfully downloaded at this time. Continue setting command to change the MQTT IoT server to the SenseMaster OTA server. After the command is issued, the device will actively upload the current MQTT configuration. The configuration changes will be saved in the device flash and the new parameters in the flash will not be used until the user restarts the device. Sending the reset command to restart the device. Next, upload the demo data to SenseMaster OTA. Open the pre-configured SenseMaster OTA and click on SAB111-485. We can see that the current device has uploaded the second data. Click on the dashboard and then click on SAB111-485 to see the UI interface panel information of the current data. The SAB111-485 demo has ended. Thank you for watching.